I really hope somebody finds this, it's so good. I think cottage core will be a lock. <laughs> Ta-da! Uh, rat row. There's so many. Okay, Marie, I love this. That is so cute. <laughs> if you know, you know. Got some ideas brewing. All right, let's do this. Today we are gonna be thrifting at one of my favorite spots, so I'm really excited to get in. This place has a huge selection and a really great fitting room, so I thought it would be fun to actually thrift for full outfits and then style up everything together at the end. Ideally, I'm going to be looking for outfits in specific aesthetics that I'm excited about for fall, and I've been talking a little bit about on this channel already, but they are whimsy goth, academia, cottage core, like 60s, 70s, psychedelic inspired, and maybe even clown core. And that's ideal, but I have to say, you never know what a thrift store is actually gonna have. I don't know if we'll be able to stick to those aesthetics, but in any case, we will thrift for full outfits and then end up in the fitting room at the end, styling everything together. So let's thrift. I think I'm gonna go with my like usual routine and start in the dresses. I think out of all the aesthetics I was talking about, that cottage core is probably gonna be like the easiest for me to find in this area, just based off what I normally see in thrift stores around here. Like, I just found three dresses that could work right off that. I think cottage core will be a lock. <laughs> this one feels like the most wearable and more styleable for me, so I'm gonna hold on to this one for now. I might hold on to this black dress because I could do some, potentially do some whimsy goth styling with that, but it is just a basic black dress, so kind of a building block. And then I'm seeing in here a lot of like bold 80s dresses like this. And like these. Okay, this to me is a great whimsy goth piece, the burnout velvet. You could style this with like platform Mary Janes and make it a little bit edgier and very 90s. Unfortunately, I don't think this one will fit me, so I don't think I'll be able to try it for you today, but it is a good example. Another really fun like 90s slash Y2K piece that could work for a whimsy goth styling. And this one works like more on the earthy kind of end of that styling, I think. Okay, here's a cute little vintage number. I, it's not quite like a 60s or 70s psychedelic. It's definitely not that, but it's fun and artsy. And I think it is a 70s cut from what I can tell. Um, I might try it. Okay, I love like a casual 90s plaid dress like this. And look how it's cut shorter, that's cute. Little hip pockets. Again, I think too small for me, but a good example maybe of a cottage core look. Whatever type of core you wanna call this, I'm here for it. <laughs> Guys. Any day except thrift store day. So easy to find. If you know, you know. Yeah. 
So one thing unfortunately was that there weren't a lot of dresses in my size today. So, you know, I'm gonna actually have to model these for you, which means that the sizing is gonna be a big factor in what I'm able to style at the end. But we are definitely gonna put something together, but dresses were like, eh, we'll see. I did just go through the accessories really quick and there was nothing too exciting, but I'll show you what I found. Thinking this could add some edge to a whimsy goth style. Look at this sweet vintage leather and tapestry bag. Cottage core maybe? Maybe a scarf to put in my hair for like a 60s kind of look. This belt maybe for whimsy goth. And this bright necklace for a clown core style maybe. I'm really gonna try to make clown core happen here. <laughs> oh, totally sidetracked, but I had to show you the cutest Diane von Furstenberg matching luggage set. I wish that I needed luggage. I could use a garment bag, but I don't want to split up the set. I really hope somebody finds this. It's so good. Check out this wild skirt plaid and then boom, a bold floral. <laughs> wow. Marissa Christina also makes some really wild 80s sweaters if you ever look up that brand on the internet. This mini skirt is fun and cute to me, like very retro, but. I'm not sure, like, for what. I definitely think a black mini skirt could work, but I personally would probably want to style with some tights, and I don't have that option today. But there's some good pieces in here for sure. Okay, so again on that more like earthy whimsy goth tip, uh, this one with like maybe a tailored vest or something, and maybe that belt I found. Um, I might, I think I'm gonna card it for now and we'll see if we find a top to go with. This skirt is such a fun 90s moment. Oh, fun tag too. Another one, I'm like not totally sure if this fits an aesthetic, but I really like it. It feels wearable and it's got pockets and I think it'll fit me. So I might, I might grab it to style it anyway. I think these denim skirts like this are so great for like an academia or cottagecore look. You can see this with like a turtleneck and sweater vest layer and then some great Chelsea boots. These could be so classically academia, so classically fall. This tag is unlocking some core memories. Darn, I had the matching top to this and I just uh, passed it along on Poshmark, I think. It's a Ralph Lauren skirt and I had the exact top that goes with it. <laughs> oh, just look at these vintage shorts. So cute. Okay, this styled with a button up and some loafers. Oh, that'd be cute. Ooh, I love these 90s plissé pieces. They're kind of like a crinkle fabric, plissé. <laughs> this style to me is, uh, works really nicely with like a whimsy goth or like a darker aesthetic. Um, but I don't know about the size, I'd have to try it. We'll see. Look at these vintage men's sleep tops, like a pajama top. Vintage JC Penny. I feel like it would be fun to style those. Like, I might think about it. So I'm still kind of planning to continue looking at the bottoms because then I think that'll start to like narrow down what types of looks I'm actually gonna be able to style and pull off. These are really cute, I like the cut and kind of like a neutral pattern, but I just, I don't know how to make them work with the, an aesthetic, but maybe they're just another generic outfit for fall. I definitely wish these were my size. How cute for an academia style. Um, okay, these <laughs> vintage super pleated mom jean, bill blasts. Yeah, those are just so fun. I don't know, maybe cottage core, just going with like a cute casual pastel pan. Could be fun, not my size. All right, maybe a stretch, but these look like a 70s, like men's uh, trousers. I feel like if I styled them right, I can make them look like kind of what I'm going for. So we'll, we'll see. 
there honestly just was like not hardly anything in the pants that was really exciting to me. So <laughs> I kind of have to take what I can get and like I'm gonna have to make it work with the styling. Well, the good news is I do think I have some the makings of some good outfits going. Um, hopefully it, it thinks fit. But uh, I think my next stop should be here in the shoes uh, so that I can, it'll like narrow it down for me because I'm going to be limited by what shoes are available. And then the tops is like always the biggest section. So I'll be able to find tops to go with what I've got, I think. So shoes. Uh... Rat row, the shoe section's very light in my size at the moment, but we'll see. I think a good pair of loafers could go with a lot of these looks, but I, these are just like not quite right for what I want. These are just a little too uh, unstructured and rounded at the same time. I love a good black ankle boot. Those can go with a lot of different styles. They're just like maybe not my first pick for some of these looks, but... That's a maybe. Okay, what? These are really fun. <laughs> These are like subtle and kind of cool. The square toe makes them feel a bit more modern. And there's a low heel so they seem wearable. I'm kind of into those. Well, the good news is I wore my Doc Martin boots today and they kind of go with everything. So I think I can make that work if I need to. And then I grabbed this pair is which is also kind of like basic go with anything so shoes will not be a very exciting part of my look I don't think but that's all right um, we're ready to dive into the tops and I think complete some of these final looks and make final decisions so there's so many really fitted it's kind of a, it's a petite one so be like kind of cropped and really fitted on me clown corish just a fun 90s button up this one maybe kind of clown corish with the buttons Sweet and cottagey or granny. This bootleg cowboys and Betty Boop tea. <laughs> That's pretty good. This looks like a little fun clown core-ish, but for me personally, I kind of want to go more like primary colors. Like this could be a fun springtime one, but yeah, it's not quite it for me. Hoping to find a uh, knit vest or like a structured like a suit vest. Oh. 70s Alex Coleman. So I've got to look through the sleeveless tops, I think. a little sleeveless top but I like how much texture there is like if you layered it over a fitted long sleeve turtleneck or something could add some cute texture to an outfit I just I don't know if I've got that going on yet but it's a maybe so yeah not a lot of luck with the uh, knit vests or that style I was looking for uh, no vests really just like sleeveless knits so anyway, maybe they're mixed in with the other tops. I'll just keep looking obviously. And hopefully I might have to pivot the direction of these outfits that I had started to envision though, so.
This is good to me, but it's so similar to what I'm wearing presently today, so I'm just gonna leave it. These are sweet, but not quite what I'm looking for. I think this feels very whimsy goth like Phoebe Buffay. Just some more like staple pieces that could work though. Um, black turtleneck for whimsy goth, sweet white blouse for cottage core or academia. Ooh, I found the blouse to go with those shorts that we saw earlier. That's cute. Ideas brewing. Okay, like Molly Ringwald called, said this top is adorable. All right, I forgot to do a cart check and I started pulling things out to sort them into fits. But yeah, you can see I did find a lot, so now I kind of just need to um, organize <laughs> and we'll get in the fitting room. A few of these I'm like really excited to try. Let's do this. Ta-da! I knew this pajama top would be fun to style. So I've got those uh, men's 70s trousers and the men's sleepwear top. I just did like a half tuck. I could also do like a tie up at the bottom. Pop the collar maybe. I'm gonna leave the sleeves down because of the cool piping there. And then I've got on the little low heel. I think that makes it, you know, a little bit more of a mix of mask and femme, which is cute. And then for accessories, I actually love the idea of this little patent leather clutch with it. It just kind of brings in some edge, a little bit of texture, but I really love this hair scarf. This hair scarf with it. I just kind of like quickly, loosely tied it around, but yeah, just tied around like a little headband. Needs, you know, it's like a little not quite polished this way, but I do really like the pajama top. Maybe belted around here around the outside. Not exactly like the psychedelic look that I was going for, but a little bit 60s inspired. All right, let's keep going. Here's another option. I just found this kind of groovy print turtleneck. So I've got those with the men's trousers and the heel. Sorry, everything is just in a little mirror and it's kind of hard to see, but hopefully you can get the effect. This is cute. Also this like print under a pinafore style dress. I didn't find any today, but that could work too, right? All right, next look. Okay, doing a little bit of a cottage core outfit with this skirt and this button up. This is actually cute and really wearable. I do like this black heel with it again. Unfortunately, you know, sock choices were made this morning. <laughs> but maybe just a plain white sock with it in the reality. And here's the cute little bag that I found. I did want to have some kind of like, I could see a necklace over this, which I would have from my own closet. I didn't have anything to style right now. And I didn't find any vests, which I was hoping for that later. I did find this one, but the like color palette is all wrong. So I might style this with something else though for a different look. This is cute. It's also kind of bookish. I can see this being a little bit of like a sweet or light academia. There's a little bit of overlap, I think, between cottage core and, and academia sometimes. So. Library girl, 
We love her. Also, bra choices were made, and that was a mistake. All right, next I've got a dark academia look, and I've got like a few different variations here to try, but here is the first base, that little Ralph Lauren polo that I found, and a 90s uh, mini skirt. This is probably my favorite piece that I've tried on so far, and like I said, I normally would want tights with it, but um, I do think I'm gonna swap the shoes. And yeah, I like it better with the boots. I think I could do better and do something with a pop of color, but it's a good start, right? It's cute. It's a little uniformy, but I feel like accessorizing it right may be key. <laughs> like, I might get asked if I'm like wearing a school uniform in this, so it's maybe too on the nose, but it's still kind of a cute look. Um, and then I got one other variation similar look but with a trouser instead and this would be cute with like a chunky loafer I have the dock boots on still but yeah I like the fitted silhouette up top with more of like a little bit looser bottom it is in a fashion cute way I don't know uh, let's keep going I have a lot more to show you all right next I'm trying to go for that Phoebe Buffet, like earthy, whimsy goth aesthetic. And this is my base and I think like we're not quite there. We've got the mock neck, short sleeve. This feels 90s to me. It is in, in fact from the 90s. <laughs> and then this uh, 90s to 70s kind of style skirt. Combat boots, good enough. Let's layer and accessorize. Okay, this vest, it is too big and it's too long for like the proportions I want. I like to have a high waist. So I'm gonna tuck it um, in, kind of into itself and kind of into the skirt, just on the edge there, see? And kind of blouse it out, I think. It's still, it is too big, but like we're getting the idea, right? Like it's not, it's not impossible to imagine where we're going with this. And there's kind of a cool pattern mix and the earth tones again that I think work with the whimsy goth aesthetic, especially I've got like my dark earrings on, dark makeup. And then I just added that little kind of woven metallic chain belt for like some more whimsy. I like it. Originally I was thinking a black bag, but like now that I've got this on, I kind of think the tapestry goes better with just the whole pattern mashup. This one, I like the whimsy off, but I tend to go more with like classic black looks and this feels a little bit too earthy to me, but I'm really glad that I got to try it because I like some of the individual pieces a lot. I really wanted to make this top work, but um, I, I just can't do, I don't care for that pattern mash. I don't know, it's like not working for me. So I think um, I might just try this with jeans instead. Y'all, these jeans are so tight, like, I might pass out, but I had multiple looks planned with them, so I really kind of want to just like show you the general idea, but I'm not gonna put shoes on. So anyway, these are the mom jeans <laughs> with the mock neck and then just like a lightweight blazer. I don't know what we're calling this, but it's cute. It's like 90s off-duty supermodel aesthetic. There we go, we'll, we'll call it that. Imagine with like some cute glasses or sunnies and then with boots. Let's swap out the top before I pass out. Raise your hand in the comments if you've been here before. <laughs> you feel me. Okay, this ended up being my favorite choice for like a clown core style top. I think that polka dots are what I mainly think of, like very whimsical, <laughs> bright colors. Um, and then I had an idea for accessorizing this to make it even a little bit more because we're just going with the mom jean again, which I think works. I just tied that scarf in like a big bow and I'm gonna try to tuck it kind of under the collar. And I think the key with that is like to go ahead and clash with the scarf and the loud top. Like the colors work together, there's pink and everything, but you know, don't worry about matching. Like clashing is power clashing with the, the clown for looks. So yeah, and then just make this bow like really big. There we go. I also found this I was really hoping would work out, this navy and white top. Very fun clown cord to me with that necklace that I found earlier. And that would have been so fun that this, this I won't be able to try on, it's too small, but I had to show you like, 
kind of the effect. And then I think again with just like a jean and maybe some um, sneakers or something, again, kind of whimsical and mismatched, it completes the clown core effect. I'm happy to go to try this one and I have a couple more things to show you. Okay, this is really simple, but this is a style that I am personally really excited about for the fall, and that would be really easy to thrift. So I'm gonna share, and if you like the idea, you can run with it. Thrifting a striped turtleneck. I like a black and something striped, but black and colorful, black and white. But yeah, this really thin striped turtleneck in a nice cotton. This is an L.L. Bean one. And then cropping it really high and wearing it with high-waisted black skirts, high-waisted denim, and going for like kind of a 90s, again, whimsy off. Also could look cute if you do like overalls, pinafore dresses, but yeah, thrift it so you can crop it. I think it'll be fun. So I like this one for it. This is like exactly the style that I'm thinking of. Okay, lastly, I just had to try this on because the ruffles are so precious. This is a I think late 70s, early 80s blouse. It doesn't have a brand, but yeah, the ruffles are everything. I think I might have to get it for my shop. It's obviously too small for me, but I'm also gonna try that layering with the piece that I found earlier and we'll just see how it turns out. Okay, wait, I love this. Oh, this is like, the ruffles make it like the perfect blouse to layer. And actually for me, since the blouse is too small, Putting this over the top covers up the buttonage issue. <laughs> Let me get you close up. And I like the texture with this. It's basically just like kind of a lacy tank top. And it is too tight, but and again, I'm just like giving you the ideas. These jeans are like so wrong for me. <laughs> this little bag with it. I think I'm gonna walk away with this bag too. It's adorable. And it's actually gone with a number of outfits I put together. Oh, how sweet. Well, since I'm loving this ruffle, let's go ahead and end the video here. <laughs> Thank you so much for thrifting with me. I hope you had fun and got inspired by some of the aesthetics we were able to find and thrift and pull together outfits in the fitting room. Of course, we can always do better when we also shop our own closets, but this is just a fun way to like flex your styling muscle, your thrifting muscles. And so I really enjoy doing it for you. I hope you like the video. You know, leave comments, follow me on Instagram and subscribe and like all that YouTube stuff. All right, I'll see you back here soon for a new video.